Making 3D objects move on scroll is the topic of today's video. Here's a strawberry. Here's a low polygon car. And here's a sci-fi luggage box thingamajig. You can do this with any object. We'll be using a 3JS library called 3Z, which makes dealing with 3JS a lot more simplified. And I'll also show you where you can find free 3D objects to use. Now, if you want access to the full project files, click the link in the YouTube description. Let's get started. The first thing we need is a 3D model in the form of a GLTF file. These are the types of files that 3JS can import. TurboSquid.com has a bunch of these files which you can browse, and we'll use the low poly car as an example. Just create an account and download the GLTF file from here. Next up, we're going to create a new VJS project. NPM create v at latest, and then after you CD into that new project folder, npm i3 and 3z. Now the HTML is super simple, just a div class of container and an h1 element and a paragraph element. Our 3D object will sit on top of this. So for the CSS, the only thing worth mentioning here is that the canvas element should have a position of fixed and a top of zero so that the 3D element will stay on top of our HTML, which is the intended effect we're going for. Now for the JavaScript, we need to import 3JS and the GTLTF loader and 3Z. Now typically at this point, if we were only relying on 3GS, we'd have a bunch of boilerplate code, but with 3Z, we do not need that. Now first, we create a new instance of 3Z, and to make the background transparent, we set alpha to true. Then we have to create an instance of the GLTF loader, and let's specify the URL to the GLTF file as well. Then we use the loader.load method, and we can make any necessary adjustments to the size of the 3D object that you imported, along with the rotation. Note, you can just run npm run dev to see what it currently looks like. Now at this point, we add it to the scene. If we wanted to rotate based on scroll beneath the previous lines where we add the object to the scene, we add an event listener of scroll and pass in a function called onScroll. Now onScroll will set a rotation speed which you can adjust depending on how fast you want this thing to rotate based on scroll, and then we apply a little math to the rotation x and y properties. And that, my friends, is basically it. This is obviously a very specific use case, but you can make your 3D objects do any number of things to make your UIs just a little bit more interesting. Again, the full project files are accessible in the YouTube description. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, thumbs up, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy.